we made it. Wow, my bike, this looks so awesome. I love it. Yeah. Okay. Easy. We're in Colorado. All right, where did we last leave you? Taylor was finishing up the Hurricane 200. We are now about to hit the road all the way up to Colorado so we can test out these bikes. More specifically, I want to test out the Hurricane and with all the upgrades, I want to see how the fuel tank holds up, the shocks, the tilts and engine, all the internal upgrades, the super pipe, the bigger tires. It's already a great bike as it is stock, but with all these upgrades, I'm sure it's going to be a beast up there. I'm going to get picked up by Taylor and the team should be a good time. What's up guys? Yeah, let's roll. Junior's trying to sleep. All right. That's how you want to start your Colorado video? <laughs> good morning, Taylor. Good morning. I love you. I love you Let's more. do this. Let's go. Sunday morning, day number one of Colorado. We're out here, we're doing it. Doing it big. Mm. Are we in Amarillo? No. What are we in? We're short of Amarillo, like 20 miles from it. We're getting there. Dumas, and we're about to come up here, hang a left towards Walsenburg, then we'll hit Raton and start climbing in the mountains. We made it. We're in Colorado. All right, so we are looking at Monday morning. We're gonna wait till after this obnoxious beeping goes off. Taylor and I are headed out to Rainbow to get some oil, because we don't have oil for uh, the hurricane. Yeah, I literally think that's the only thing we forgot. I would even say I forgot, we just have so much stuff going on. We can get oil from anywhere. So, Rainbow it is, taking a field trip. Then we're coming back to ride these bikes little soft test run, see how the mini bike holds up. Hopefully it all holds up. Cause then we got Tewksbury Trail tomorrow. Tewksbury! Boom, where are we at? What are we doing? We're here. All right, I am stoked. Taylor has now got me my Hurricane 200 ready to roll. We are out here in the beautiful Rocky Mountains. We're going to just take an easy ride today and make sure the bike is running. We just put in some oil, some gas. This will really be its first ride. So we're gonna go take in this beautiful scenery, put you on the helmet cam, let you guys know how my maiden voyage goes, and we'll chat soon. Hey. Hi. Am on. I hey, recording? Right there. I'm gonna get a selfie. All right, one, two. All right. Uh, the snow is sweet. Mountain exhaust. <laughs> My engine keeps going in and out. Might be because of high altitude. I could be pressure locked. Uh, Open up my gas tank, see if I can let some air in. I want you to hear this part. I am pegging the throttle as far as it'll go. It is wide open. And just listen. to get our carburetor to get it just right. I feel like I can only crack it open and then my engine just starts spitting and sputtering. But it needs a little bit of tuning. 
but I am happy with the way this bike feels so far. Dropping your needle, buddy. Just like that. Trying to lean it out some. Because you were seeing some white smoke coming from it. So you're dropping the needle. That thing we're, we're chasing two, I think we're chasing two issues. Mm -hmm. What did you guys do? Tear up a bike? Low speed is better. I, I, know, I think back that's up, so. gonna make the top end even worse. So you just took my bike out because it needed to be tuned. Yes. So how did fixing that needle fix it's it? It's much better. It still it needs sucks. a little fine tuning. At I the very top, there's small. still, oh, like when you hold it wide open, it'll still, yeah, you're so, it's you either, I think it's getting too much still. So what's the top. our fix? Smaller main jet. Uh, but you like but the bike? it is way better. Maybe you, yeah? Yes. Well, you can like go ride it now, actually. Hey, look, bike. What all did you get done to it? We've got big knobby tires, DID chain. We've got the chain guide, which really helps when you add that extra sprocket height mm -hmm. and the shocks. Um, whenever you throw off the stock geometry of these, you can start having chain problems. So the guide that we have really, really helps. I haven't thrown a chain with the guide on there. We've got the Tillotson 212 engine. You know what we did with the flywheel? We just took yes. the MB200 flywheel and coils Swapped them over to the Tillotson block, did a hot 265 cam, 22 Makuni, and then that gives us the RPM and power that we need to run this juggernaut. Nice. So then I see you also got me with the chrome super pipe, which looks awesome. It definitely blinks. Those are brand new too. We just had those chromed. The gas tank that's actually usable so we can be riding for hours and hours today. You ride all day with this thing up here. Foot peg kit down underneath for a little more aggressive riding. Yes, this is our MB200 foot peg kit that we modified for the Mega Moto pegs with the springs. See ya. Boom. All right, we are out here day two for our big trail ride day. And uh, we're going to get the mini bikes out. Taylor spent this morning fixing up my spark plug. So we'll get the mini bike out, the hurricane out, and we'll be hitting the trail soon. All right, what's up, what's up? Starting all right, there's cars and cameras. Oh yeah, smaller jet really helps. Taylor has got this bike dialed in. Good thing we got uh, front and rear brakes. And a wheelie. Wow. Alright. We're in the middle of one of these mountains. And it's we're only halfway up. We're, we're, we're down. We're on the we're on a slope. Right this now. looks like it's gonna be the hardest. Probably the hardest part of this whole trail. Yeah. This 
This is the hardest part. I can tell you who's happy though. It's me and my trail master with the 265 can in there. Because this is nothing. This is a piece of cake for me. Everyone else though. It's good to have at least a stage two, 212. Yes. Kind of similar to what you have. Yeah. Just that little extra oomph. Dude, I'm so excited. got past the most steepest incline on this trail. Good times. How's it going? Awesome. Yeah. And this is where front and rear hydraulic brakes truly shine. I would not leave home without them. Well, I wouldn't go on this trail without them, say that much. Couldn't have been happier. The best feeling was when I was climbing that hill and everyone was cheering me on and this engine was still revving up. That was that was dope. But the bigger tires helped because of the clearance. The Makuni uh, 22 was awesome with all the response. There was so much mud, so having the wider fenders really did help. That with that juggernaut, oh uh, man, what a deadly combination. Having a chain guy, I did not lose one chain at all and I was riding it pretty rough out there. That super pipe, it sounds great. It was once chrome. It's not muddy. We'll clean it when we get back home. So if you were to try to do this with this, this stock? <laughs> it would be a rough day. I would leave much earlier. It could be done, but you will not be happy about it. You'll be doing a lot of walking. All right. Well, it's Yeah. That was good. Good job, Tay. That was a fun short little ride. Yeah. All right, now we're back at the shop. We have the mini bike unloaded, changing out the oil, taking off the stock foot pegs that were on there. There's still a few other upgrades I wanna do, like the 90 degree manifold gusset, the, the mini bike as much as I can. We have the new uh, billet front end suspension that we've been testing out. Overall, love the bike. It held up, did everything I needed it to. It had plenty of power, plenty of juice. It was mean, it was reliable, it was a one full wonder every single time. For me, that Trailmaster Hurricane 200 is the way to go. I'd be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. I keep ringing up. You win. Perfect. <laughs>